Esport nutshell news, everything in the world of esports in a YouTube video nutshell. In League news, League of Legends adds new loot and crafting system. Everyone play musical chairs with Kang Chang Yong, Ambition, Quan Yong Jae, Helper, and Joe Young In, Core JJ, joining Samsung Galaxy. Quan Bora Kim, Yellowstar, leaves Fnatic for Team Solo Mid. Najin may be looking to sell their organization and kills contracts for nine players and the coach, leaving two survivors, Lee Ho Seong Duke and Yung Wang Ho Peanut as the survivors. European LCS organization elements disbands their team, puts their LCS spot up for bid and begins talks with potential buyers. Team Liquid's Diego Ruiz Quaz is suspended indefinitely from Team Liquid after an incident occurred. The owner of the team is working closely with Diego and his family to resolve it. 12-year-old uh, Xiao Xin is hired by Panda TV, making $4,700 a month live streaming his League of Legends matches with an average of 5,500 viewers per stream. His parents worried at first, now support his path. League of Legends Snowdown starts December 10th through January 7th with a snowball fight game, Legends of the Poro King, Poro Toss, Icons Wars, and six legacy skins. Australian Matthew Ubagong gives up on his dream of becoming a professional League of Legends athlete to follow his backup plan as an Australian football player getting recruited to the AFL. Psh. Aaron Bland, I should choose you, and there's a picture of a train on it. Playing for Oceana in the International League of Legends tournament at the Margaret Court Arena in Melbourne, Australia, was embarrassed around the world when his mother told ABC News, I just want him to find a girl, any girl. Beyonce responded with, all single ladies, all single ladies. Vichy Gaming signs Jihoon Lee, Easy Hoon, and drops Si Hyung Cho Mata as Riot rules don't allow more than two imported players. Easy Hoon opens up about being stuck in the shadow of Faker as the reason why he left for Vichy. He's doing all right after a three way bidding war, obtaining an $860,000 salary before signing bonus and streaming contract, most likely bringing him to a cool mill a year. In other news, Cloud9 disbands their Dota 2 team. The score is looking for an esports social media editor. The First Guild Wars 2 PvP season commences. Panda Global Gaming signs Heroes of the Storm Team Kappa Wolves. Starcraft's Lee Yo Hung Flash retires after an eight year esports career at age 23. Starcraft's Legacy of the Void sells a million copies in a day. Australian esport betting company Mivu gears up to launch their betting platform in Australia and Oceania. Heroes of the Storm Team Bob Ross Fan Club wins their third online tournament and is shopping for a sponsor. Fnatic beats Luminosity Gaming 2-1 in the Face It Season 3 CSGO Land Grand Finals. Fnatic beats Team Liquid 3-1 at DreamHack Winter 2015. Heroes of the Storm in uh, Yo Shopping, Sweden. Weston Dennis Westball's video shows off his six inputs per second gameplay in Smash. First pro gamer Jonathan Wendell Fatality does an AMA and calls esports a hustle in so many ways. Dota 2 host Trails uh, Nielsen Sindarin returns to the player's side on his new team, State Gaming. Vainglory hits 1 million unique viewers in September. NVIDIA is riding the sponsorship wave with their Shield tablet K1. NBA star Gordon Hayward continues to be an advocate for the world of esports with his interview on IGN Esports Weekly. Steam controllers now have an opt-in beta feature of mouse region, allowing you to map the controller's touchpad to a fixed region on the game that you can customize. After French Secretary of State Auxerre Le Maire sings esports praises, the Ministry of Sport still votes no for recognizing esports as a real sport due to the lack of physical activity involved. Execration, TNC Pro Team, CDEC, and Invictus Gaming face off at the Dota 2 World Champ uh, World Cyber Arena at the uh, Ningxia International Hall in Yinchuan, China, December 7, uh, 17th through the 21st with a $500,000 prize pool. Blizzard puts $900,000 towards nine season championships spread throughout the year to increase fan engagement and increases the World Championship prize pool at BlizzCon to a million dollars. Steve Cronin and Rod Breslau suggest nootropics should not be mixed. Adderall may give a short advantage, but esports is an endurance sport, and the doping scandal was overblown. Emmanuel Myberg says how we all feel about Adderall in esports, proclaiming, there's no drug in the world that can make me a better Counter-Strike player. William Hielte Leffen beats Zachary Cordoni S. Fat for $1,000 at DreamHack Winter. Leffen is a smart marketing man, creating his own mini-matches, building his personality presence in the media like this video. The esports industry is closely watching the trial of DraftKings and Alpha Draft in New York, which will have a big effect on esports fantasy and betting companies like Vulcan, Unicorn, and, well, Alpha Draft. Juan de Biedma 
Hungrybox beats Adam Lingreen Armada at DreamHack Smash Championship, winning $10,000 in closure when he said, quote, My biological dad recently passed away. He said, I'll never be the best. I hope he sees me now. It's a lot of closure for me. Watch the video and try not to love this guy. EA's push in the esports with their Madden competition is capped to the game's 6 million players, but they could pull a blizzard, start with this game, and then build competitions around it like their titles like FIFA, which is huge, and then do an annual EA Con. The International Esports Federation World Championship, December 2nd through the 5th, will have 250 players from 250 countries at Nexon Arena in Seoul, South Korea, competing in Hearthstone, StarCraft, and League of Legends. There will also be a panel discussion creating Rita uh, Sabu Buu, former member of the International Olympic Committee and executive board member of the Olympic Council of Asia on the future of esports in the 2016 Asian Games, Asian Youth Games, and the Olympics. At DreamHack Winter, Alliance Dota 2 player Jonathan Berg Lodo, uh, Loda trespasses to confront Richard Lewis after a Twitter spat and provokes Lewis to strangle him. Cops show up, they sign a statement that uh, violence and harassment have no place in the gaming community and at DreamHack events. Lewis, sends, Lewis then gets banned from all DreamHack events. Fabricated, fabricated grudge matches work in WWF, UFC, and eSport fighting games, but real-life grudges go against what gaming tournaments are supposed to do. Bring people together over safe competition. Gotta remember that theater and kids motto. Work hard, respect others, and have fun. That's it. Have a good weekend.